Hi, this is Scott Siberson, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about Flubaroo uh, grading of Google Forms and Google Spreadsheets. And so I wanted to go ahead and get started. The first thing I did was create a form. So I created a form and named it um, just so that we get an idea. Uh, a couple of things that you want to be aware of. The first thing, if you're going to use Flubaroo and auto grade or send the information back to the to the students, we either need to um, collect usernames, which in our situation, like in a school situation, would be their email address, or you may have to have a question that asks the person what is your email address that way Flubaroo knows where to send that email so those are a couple things to think about if you use this with younger kids um, and you don't want them to type in their email address because they might make a mistake you might want to collect it um, from their username so those are some things to think about um, the questions that we've created or that I've created are uh, a name question so it identifies the student their email address so it knows where to send it. And I did not use multiple choice questions because they're very easy for Flubaroo to grade. Um, I've used some free response questions. So what is four plus seven? Real easy. What is the capital of Ohio? Name a color on the Ohio State flag. Um, and then a little bit of geometry will find the area of a triangle. So I put a picture in here, ask them to do a little bit of math and come up with the area of the triangle. So we'll go ahead and get started and take a look at what do we need to do in order to um, get Flubaroo to work um, and go from there. So if you want Flubaroo to grade this, the first thing we have to do is we have to make sure that we take the form as a key. So I'm gonna view the live form and when I do that it's gonna ask me my name so I'm going to put in my name as key, my email address, what is 4 plus 7, which we all know is 11, what is the capital of Ohio, and the capital of Ohio is Columbus, and name a color on the Ohio State flag, well, red is one of the colors. Um, the other ones are white or blue. So what do we do in order to let Flubaroo grade this? Well, Flubaroo has the ability to allow multiple answers as a choice. So in order to do that, we need to know what does Flubaroo need to know in order to give that a correct answer. And the symbols that we use are the percent sign and the word or. So if I give it a space, percent or, space, then I can put white, and then I can do percent or, and I can do blue. So those are the choices that our people can put in, and it will give them a correct response. The other one we should talk about, or another Flubaroo um, important piece is up at the top, I capitalized Columbus because Columbus is the name of the city. So for Flubaroo to give them credit, right now, it wouldn't care if they capitalized or they didn't. But I want them to capitalize it. So I'm going to put a percent CS in front of Columbus because we want it to be case sensitive. So percent CS space Columbus. The next one is the triangle, the area of the triangle. Well, we know on a right triangle, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So I take one half of 19.2 and 27.4, and I get a correct answer that is 263.04. Depending on when somebody might round or things like that, I might need to take a range of numbers. So what Flubaroo allows me to do is to set up a range. So I can say, I'm going to take answers 263% 
to 263.1. So as long as their answer is in that range, it's going to give us a correct solution. So I'm going to fill these out looking at the three specific things that Fluberu will allow us to do. One is to be case sensitive with percent CS. One with the percent OR because it will allow us multiple correct solutions. Or if I want to do percent two, which would give us a range of acceptable numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And when I submit the form, it says, thank you for, you know, filling out the form for us. Now I can go back to view my responses and I can see that the timestamp is there, key is the name of who took it, the email address, what is, and I've got my answers and it comes right into our spreadsheet. Now, what's really nice about Fluberu is that Fluberu is an add-on that I add on to Google Sheets. So what I do is I go to the add-ons and it says to get add-ons. Um, so I'm going to click get add-ons and it opens up some choices for me. And the one that I'm looking for is Fluberu and right there it is. If it doesn't show up right away, you can go search and find Fluberu. Um, notice that when I'm hovering over Fluberu, it gives me a plus free so I can add this add-on right into my uh, Google Sheets. I click on it. It says, are you sure you want to do that? I say accept. From there, I let Fluberu do a little bit of work. And now Fluberu is in my add-on list. So there, I can go ahead and tell it I want to grade an assignment. Um, and I can go on about my business and work like that. So then what I need to do is I need to give my assignment to somebody before I can grade it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my form and up here in the right hand corner I can click send form and I am going to send my form to one of my test user accounts and by doing that it will show up in the email address or in their email and I can have that person take it. So I'm going to switch over to a different account. I'm going to go into the test user account and I am going to load the mail in that account and here's you know here's that message so I open up the message and it's got that message right here in the account so I can fill out the form. So who am I? I am test user one and my email address is test user one and I fill that in and then I answer my question. So what is 11 and then I'm gonna put in, uh-oh, Columbus what is the color in the flag? And I might type yellow. And then what is the area? So I do my calculation and I tell it the answer is 263.0. So I'm going to hit submit. Are you sure? And it go ahead and it submits that form for me. So now this test user has taken the assessment. I'm going to go back over to where the responses live and I can see that that person took the assessment. Now I'm going to let Fluberu grade it and see what happens. So I'm going to go to add-ons, Fluberu, and tell it to grade the assignment. When I grade the assignment, it's going to make me go through some steps and it says, tell me about the assessment. The first question was just asking their name. That identifies the student. The second question is email address identifies the student. And then I can award points to each question. So I can say this question's worth one point and so forth. 
so I can go ahead and hit continue. Then it goes to another step. On this step, it says which one of these submissions is your answer key, and that's why I fill it out with the name key. Once in a while, I'll have something like Fred Flintstone or Mickey Mouse take my assessment to be the key, but right now we're going to use key. So I hit key and say continue. Then Flubaroo goes out and it grades my assessment. It also allows me to see that there are some tips and things like that, and then I could view the grades. So I'm going to say view grades, and it will show me how many points were possible, what the scores were, and some averages and things like that. And then it shows me what time and when this was graded. So I could see which ones, and you'll notice it gave me an incorrect solution right here because I put yellow in as the answer, and so no points, and I can see what happens. It created a new tab down in my spreadsheet. So I've got a separate spreadsheet that has the grades, and then I left the submissions alone. So there's student submissions, and there's the grades. So that quickly, I can now see how many points and all that is available and who took the assessment. The next thing that I can do in add-ons Flubaroo is I can email the grades to the person who took the assessment. So if I hit email, it's going to walk me through this again, and it's going to say, which email address question do you want to use? Remember, we created one called email address, so that's where we want to send it. Do we want to include the questions and the scores? Yes. Do we want them to see the answer key? We might or we might not. So this time we're going to tell them, yes, you can see the answer key, and then we could put a generic message in there if we wanted to. So we're going to go ahead and say continue, and it's going to go out. It's going to find out which kids it needs to email, and it's going to tell us when it's finished. Now, you'll notice in here that there is a column called emailed grade, and it puts an X in that box. So Flubaroo knows that it emailed a grade to that student. So if that student needed to correct something, or if I needed to give a kid credit for something, I could take that X out of there, tell it to email the grades, and it would send a changed grade to that person. So you can do a lot of things with Flubaroo. Also with Flubaroo, if we go in here, you'll notice that there's one called Advanced. Advanced allows for auto grading. So what we can do is we can set this up to enable auto grading. That way when a student submits the assessment and they hit submit, it will automatically grade for them and it will email them back their information. So I'm going to set up auto grading. It's going to do some work. It's going to say before we do this, do we want to update the grading and email settings? And I'll say yes. And it's going to walk me back through that same stuff that we set up at the very beginning. So I can make sure everything is correct. Say continue. It's going to say which one is my key? Again, I can pick the key, hit continue, and then it's going to ask me which question was the email address just to make sure, and we're going to email the answer key, and we're going to say continue. So we go through those steps all over again, and I always like to do that just to make sure, and then I get a little message that auto grading is enabled. Flubaroo is waiting for no sub new submissions. So I'm going to go back to my form. Remember, we have the form here. I'm going to send that form to a different person. So I'm going to send it this time to test user 2. And this time I'm going to go ahead and send. It's going to go to test user 2. So at this point now, that email should have been sent out. I can go up and change to test user 2. 
and look at the inbox and we should get an email coming in that says hey you've got a form to grade so I'm gonna go in I'm gonna fill it in Oh, I'll put my test user 2 name in here my email address test user 2 at training I'm going to answer the question 11. The capital of Ohio, we're going to say is Columbus. Color on the flag, we're going to put blue. And then the area of the triangle, I'm going to call it 263.05. So we're close, but not exact, but it's pretty darn close. So I'm going to hit submit and say OK, and it's going to go out and send that information back to Flubaroo. Now, if I go over to that other page, I can go look at the results. I can see that that came in. I can see what the answers were that were submitted. I can go over to the grade sheet. When I open the grade sheet, I can notice that test user 2 took it, got three points, and it shows which question they got wrong. Remember, we did not capitalize. And so it now sent the email over to the other person, and we should be able to see the results. So let's go to test user 2. Notice here we got an email. If I open that up, oh, there we go. Got it correct, got it incorrect, and it tells me that case sensitive has to be Columbus. So it shows them what the answer should be, and then here blue is an acceptable answer, and that number was within the range. So they very quickly get an email with the answers um, and what they scored on that assessment. So that is how you can use Flubaroo to do some auto grading, you can do manual grading so you can tell it when to grade it. But that is really a nice feature of Flubaroo. And it is something that you can turn on, you can turn off. Um, I find Flubaroo and teachers find Flubaroo extremely helpful in getting their classes up and running, um, being able to do assessments with Google Forms and to help share that information back to the students so they can quickly and easily see how they did on an assessment.